do you really need to grease the ball in the back of your towing vehicle? Or for that matter, the coupler on your trailer? Well, in this video, I'm gonna answer that question and help you with a little RV tip. Thanks for coming back to the channel. My name's Kevin, and today I wanna to give you this little tip. Maybe you know about it, maybe you don't. Hopefully this is something that will help you. When you have a metal on metal connection like your trailer ball and the coupler on your trailer, they're gonna wear out if you don't lubricate them. More often than not, there's a lot of weight resting on your trailer, which puts the weight pressure up here on the tongue. And if you don't lubricate the connections between the two, they're gonna wear out faster than they should. Even if you're towing lower weight loads on a small trailer, you still should lubricate the ball hitch. There are different materials that you can use to lubricate this connection. Lithium grease, wheel bearing grease, even dry graphite. If you don't lubricate the hitch, the coupler and the trailer ball, you're gonna wear this thing out and it's gonna cost a lot of money to weld on a new one. You've got the time, expense, and labor. You're primarily going to be protecting the coupler itself. If you don't put lubrication on that, it's gonna wear off from the friction of the trailer riding on it and all the heavy weight as you're going up and down roads, bouncing, making turns, and stuff like that. Some people like a dry lubricant, some people don't like to lubricate at all. And then there's the grease. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of trailer puller you are. Cleaning the coupler is no big deal. A simple paper towel and wiping around the surface of the coupler inside here is gonna clean that thing off sufficiently to add new grease. Adding new grease is not a big deal. You don't have to overdo it, but you just need to put enough in there so that you create a barrier between the surfaces. In my case, I use grease. Does it get dirty on dirt roads? Absolutely. Does it hold up in the rain and the snow? Absolutely. It's worth it to me to wipe off the dirty grease from time to time when we go down the dirt roads. We go down an awful lot of dirt roads, so in my case, we're gonna get dirt in that grease and it happens all the time. So I clean off my trailer ball sometimes every trip. It's that dirty. But really, it's a small price for me to pay and I don't mind doing it. It's just something that you do. This is one of those maintenance things that I think everybody should do when you're pulling a trailer. If you live in a dry climate where it's cleaner, and you're mostly on freeway or highways, you're probably not gonna do the kind of maintenance that I have to do because of the roads that we go down and locations we go for camping. Do you grease, do you not grease? And if you do, what grease, what material do you use to lubricate the connection? A lot of times I learn stuff from you guys on better ideas. I hope this quick trailer tip was useful to you in some way. If it was, uh, let me know down below. Click that like button. It helps the video and it does help the channel. And of course, if you're new here, consider subscribing to get more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.